back to spring training, the possibilities, the promise of the season ahead. But for Reds third base coach Mark Berry, promise turned to preoccupation. Well, something that seemed normal, but I wasn't sick. I wasn't uh, losing weight. I think it was normal. Barry told Red's team doctors about his persistent sore throat and lymph nodes that felt like marbles. They did uh, two needle biopsies out of my neck and both of them came back negative. So, What made you decide to keep going then if, if they both came back negative? Well, my sister. Thank God that my sister went through this 15 years ago and now she's healthy. She beat it also. Same exact thing happened to her. And as sisters do, she pushed him and he pushed the Reds for more tests. The diagnosis? Cancer of the tonsils and lymph nodes. In a way, it was a relief right. because now I know what I'm dealing with and so I said, okay, what do we need to do? 35 radiation treatments and eight rounds of chemo plus a weight loss of 40 pounds. He fought through and finished his treatments in late May. So Barry found himself in an unusual situation, away from a team that he spent almost 30 years with, but he knew he had to be 100% before he made it back to the third base coach's box. And that's what I wanted to be, you know, I did, especially coaching third base. I, right. you know, I owed it to the team and especially you know, Chris Spire, I did not want to come back too early and then have to say, I, I'm not ready, let me, let me go back the other way. He returned to the Reds in June and was on the field by July, getting stronger every day. It's really huge to have Mark back. He's eagle eyeing everything during batting practice in his third base box, and he's just a happy, loving guy, which we love to have around. After a season he'll remember for more than just a pennant chase, Barry got a clean bill of health just weeks ago. September the 4th, in fact. I should know that exact date. Should I, know, I should not forget that date the rest <laughs> of my life. Now he's back with the team he calls his family, back in the box, and back with new perspective. It is a game, you know. What I went through and seeing patients that were way worse than I was, it's not a game there. You know, I took things for granted like we all probably do, you know, mm -hmm. life in general. And, you know, I'm 51 now, so I think I'm going to really cherish every day I have now.